uh, because we want to give uh, our, our guests uh, Joffany and uh, yeah, I see y'all talking. Hey. Okay. Okay. Yes. Be sure to push record, please, sir. Uh, it is. I did hit record. I think. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's can you mute? Uh, yeah, if everybody would uh, mute yourselves, that would help a little bit here. And you could even uh, click off your video. That gives us a better uh, uh, bandwidth. So uh, let me see if I can get mute. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, we will go and uh, we'll get started here. Speaker view. Let me stay here. Speaker view. Uh, let me see here, full screen, uh, nope, here we go, okay, all right, uh, all right, we are recording, I'm J.K. Baker again, and we welcome everybody this Sunday night, we have a lot of new people that have just gotten into uh, Valar, we, we uh, are so excited to have you part of this team, uh, it's going to be a, an exciting night tonight. Uh, uh, I am really, really, really pumped. And uh, Joffany and Mark, uh, I'm going to be calling on y'all in just a minute. I'm going to try to set up, set the stage for you guys uh, with uh, two or three slides here. And uh, uh, so, uh, and I, I've got your list of businesses that I can pull up. Uh, Joffney that you sent me also let's see uh, there was a couple of the pictures that you sent me and uh, as you go as you're sharing tonight whenever you want uh, Donna to share a testimony you just insert that in okay so um, let me real quickly before uh, we get uh, out introduce uh, Joffney and Mark uh, let me share my screen I'm going to do I'm going to go through something extremely fast, and uh, I will focus on this again next um, uh, next Sunday night. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, the market for our current lead products, Air and Surface Pro and the mobile unit. Okay. I'm going to go through it quickly. Active Pure Technologies LLC, which was formerly Ares Holdings LLC, they changed the name about two months ago, has sold less than 1 million air units since 2009 when they bought the patents, the original patents for the product that we have today, which that product has been improved quite a bit. They will sell, and this is what I want you to catch, they will sell over 1 million in 2021. So to set the stage, they have sold less than 1 million air units since 2009. They will sell well over 1 million in 2021. Number two, today Active Pure Technologies LLC has the only real solution, and this is not a sales pitch guys, we're going to go through some basic facts to help you understand, help me. I had to go through this myself to understand where we are in the marketplace. So today, Active Pure Technologies, uh, hold one second, let me get a uh, pen so I can mark if necessary. Uh, let me see, okay. Today, Active Pure Technologies LLC has the only real solution to kill viruses in the air and on surfaces and in closed spaces. COVID-19 pandemic has opened the door for you and me. We have no real competition. Now there's, there's competition out there, but there, as far as duplicating what we can do, there is no competition out there. Number three, if you were Joe Urso, what would you do? Okay, so let, let's play like tonight. We, uh, what would Joe Urso, if you were Joe Urso, what would you be doing? Well, number one, you determine how big the market, how big the market is for Active Pure. Send a letter to President Biden, which all of you are aware of that letter. If not, you can go to your back office and it's there. And uh, 
I, I don't know if you realize how big that move is. Okay. So number four, 130. 930 K through 12 schools in the USA, 15,500 in Canada. You add all of that up and you've got 10,000 there. I mean, let me get my, sorry. There's my cursor. Well, having a hard time here finding my cursor. Well, if you can look at number four, if you take those schools, 146,430 schools in North America, uh, USA and Canada, and you, you figure there's about 70 classrooms and offices in each school, you've got 10,250,100 classrooms in Canada and the USA, which is our territory. Number five. There are 660,755 restaurants in the USA plus 88,000 in Canada. So if you add the 660,000 uh, in the USA, the 88,000 in Canada, that's 748,755 restaurants. If the average restaurant had three of our units in there, that would mean that particular market would need 2,246,265 uh, of our air units. Number six, 128,400,000 households in the USA plus 12,400,000 in Canada. That's 140,800,000 households that need our products. Are you getting the drift here? Remember, you are Joe Urso tonight. You're sitting there with your key management team together and they said, okay, we've got the solution. Nobody else has a solution that we have. We are going to market this solution uh, to the world, but let's focus just on uh, North America. So they would look at these figures. We got to get manufacturing up. We've got to get everything ready to go. Number seven, there are 30,200,000 small businesses in the USA, 1.2 uh, million in Canada, a total of 31,400,000, 94,200,600 uh, is enough that need our units. 5,600,000 office buildings in the USA plus 482 uh, in, uh, in Canada. You add those two together and uh, you have 6,882,000. Uh, t uh, divided by two. So we're going to divide that by two because a lot of those are back up there in uh, in uh, commercial buildings. There would be our uh, independent businesses or maybe some restaurants in there. We're going to divide that by uh, times that by 50 because in an average office building in North America, there's about 50 offices in there. That's 152 million and 50,000. Let's go next. There are 276 million vehicles registered in the USA. There's 35 million vehicles registered in Canada. That's 311 million vehicles registered that need our mobile unit. Number 10, 698 million, 50,600 uh, air and surface pros, mobiles needed in North America. Now guys, you got to look at these numbers. Again, we're going to jump on this real strong next week. But I want to kind of set the stage of the, the market that, that we have, that you and I have, that's out there. If Valar just sold 1% of the units needed, that's number 11, we would have to sell 6,980,506,000 air surface and pro and mobiles. Okay. So when Joe Urso and his team, remember, Joe Urso is our, our research and development company. Uh, Active Pure Technologies LLC and a manufacturer. Uh, they they have their own distribution and uh, distribution of their own products. Okay, 
they that's that's the way they run their business okay and i know some of you are getting concerned so well uh, uh you know the heiress uh the heiress uh, franchisees uh you've got uh, uh active tech that sells some of these are all divisions within uh joe Urso's uh company that he has what i am want you to see tonight is the same thing that joe Urso would sit down and see there is, they can manufacture the product, but they've got to have distribution all throughout North America and really the world. The world is demanding our product right now. So what I want you to see tonight is that the market is so big. I don't have any inside information. I have no clue, but I know if I was in Joe Urso's shoes sitting there and I knew the market out there, this market that we're talking about is 698 million places that the Air and Surface Pro and the mobile can be placed with the current distribution track. There's no way that we're going to reach all the country, all of North America. So what we have to learn to do, guys, is we're Valara and we're unique in that distribution of the products that come out of active tech technologies okay and we're going to talk about that real briefly but i want you to see how big this market is just if, if you bump into somebody else that's selling the product or a similar product within the constraints of active pure technology okay you have to understand this market is huge you can't get caught up in that we're going to grow and we're going to grow and we're going to grow like crazy. Okay, let's go to the next page. The market for our Valar business opportunity, just quickly, 30 million people have lost their jobs, 2 million in Canada. 10,000 retail stores have closed or projected to close in 2021. Number three, 5 million homeowners in the USA have missed a mortgage payment. Number four, 100,000 plus small businesses have closed their doors in the USA. Five, bankruptcy filings are up 50%. Six, the number of disgruntled employees increasing every day. 32 million plus 5 million plus 100,000. I get those numbers. The 32 million comes from number one up there. The 5 million comes from number three. The uh, 100,000 comes from number four. That's a minimum of 37,100,000 people that could use our business opportunity. Now, as you know, we all know the federal government is, uh, is basically <laughs> printing money and they are distributing money all over the country. They go do everything they can to get the, the, the uh, country up and going again. And uh, we support whatever needs to be done in that. But in the meantime, we have 37,100,000, a, a very minimum people that need our business opportunity. 37 million. You need to let these numbers really soak in. Uh, 700 million places need our product. 37 million need our opportunity. Sid says, and he did about on three or four uh, of our uh, Zooms uh, a few days ago, he said, guys, my advice to you is build fast. And I second that, I third that, I fourth that, and I fifth that. Build fast. You need, if you're going to build a business, if you're going to build a business, you really need to get your act together right now. You need, well, let me, I'll talk about that in just a minute. JK says, Show Mike Jackson's PowerPoint and use the ASPValar.com site. You got two great tools there. And uh, it, all of you should know that Mike Jackson's PowerPoint is at Michael Jackson Senior SR uh, at uh, uh, no dot com dot com. But go to your upline. They can give you that. Let's keep it simple. But now is the time to really move. And this is perfect or Jaffany and Mark to share with you about what we need done. So uh, what you do, number nine, work your list like crazy. And you should know what your list is. We've talked about that in the past and sponsor people like crazy. And here's the key. 
expand your network so you can cover more of the USA and Canada. Uh, we're, we're doing these Zooms because we can't travel. How do we, how, how does, uh, uh, how does, uh, uh, let me see, I just said, said the name Gail Queen. Uh, I mentioned Gail a while ago and I just said hello to Gail. So I'm, I'm gonna use Gail and, and just say, how does Gail, uh, um, how does she get her team to, to uh, talk to people in Michigan or to talk to people in Alaska or to talk to people in Ontario? How do you do that? How do you go out of that, the small city of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and uh, or even smaller than Tuscaloosa, Northport, Alabama, and how do you expand all over North America? How can you personally expand your business all across the country? And again, we're going to be talking about that in depth uh, next Sunday night. And so we have something in Valar that no other division has. Okay. Now, hang with me right here. Active Pure Technologies LLC is a huge company. Okay. As I said earlier, it's research and development, and they manufacture their own products and they sell their own products through the different divisions they have set up. Okay. We are one of those divisions, one of those divisions. And then they might add some more divisions. I mean, you got to look at the numbers now. Just, just think and look at the numbers. Seven, basically 700 million places in just the United States and Canada need an air and surface pro or mobile. 700 million. That is twice the population twice the population of the United States, okay? There's just, the, the market is so huge. You want to get your share of that market, okay? And Valora, we are sitting in the catbird seat, okay? Subscribe and save. It's huge. Others don't have this. This is, this is, this is what's going to give you let me just go on down and residual income and North America, no territory restrictions. Those three things right there put us in the catbird seat. Okay. We are, uh, and I'm just encouraging every one of you that today is the day. Okay. Today. Don't wait. So, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my ducks in a row, and I'll get started in the in, in you know when school's out, or I'm gonna get started after I have my vacation, or I'm gonna get started uh, after football season. <laughs> I'm not going to, listen, I, just from my heart, my heart to you, okay, my heart to you. Now is the time. We're just in a very unique place. Joe Urso has found himself in a very unique place. And I'm just glad they have the manufacturing facilities. I'm glad they've got the finances to, to add production lines so that they can produce the product that we need. I'm just saying for us in Valora, those of you who want to build a business and you want to build a business that that will last longer than the period that we're in right now. This period may end two years, may go five years, may go 20. I don't know. I have no clue. But with our technology and the publicity that Joe Urso is going to make available about this technology and about these products that we have available, it behooves us to tell the story as much as we can. I mean, just go overboard telling the story of what is available and you can give people access to it and then sponsor people and find business builders and expand your network all across North America. Just since last March, there's been thousands and thousands and thousands of people just added 
to Becky in my organization. Every single state, every single province in Canada has a distributor that is in our group. And I, I use Roger Barrett's group. They are same thing. They got distributors all, all aboard, all over the country. This is what you want. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, Gally Jeff Queen and uh, uh, Jennifer and uh, Amy Fiscus and Amy Ball and I'm, I'm naming some of the uh, some of our uh, first level and Bridget and uh, uh, I don't uh, you know it's and all all of you guys you want you want that same tight network all over the country and we have the system to do that so that you can do it without going to all over the place okay so with that said we'll go cover a lot of that tomorrow uh, so i am going to uh we're going to jump over here and let me i need to uh if i stop sharing my screen okay and oh uh, somebody's getting eat. hey bj uh that's what's on my screen. Uh, let me uh, share my screen. I want to put this on the screen. No, I want to put this on the screen. Then I'll go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mark and uh, Joffany, if you will unmute yourselves. And as y'all can see on this, uh, Mark, you, I didn't know you were that tall. <laughs> <laughs> Seven foot three. Uh, <laughs> can you? How tall are you? See, I'm a I'm a short little runt, so I admire tall people. Six, even. Oh wow, wow, wow! And at when my I, age, I have not shrunk one quarter of an inch. But I have. That's because I sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you guys are a just a beautiful couple, and. Uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, your willingness to share uh, uh, tonight, uh, uh, Mark and Joffany. For everybody, I think everybody on the call knows you guys, and uh, uh, Platinum Two's in the business, and uh, have done an excellent, excellent job in protecting their community. Uh, that's the way I look at it. Uh, you guys have. Uh, 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 the the uh, air and surface pro and uh, all throughout your community and that's protecting the community it's protecting people's lives and I just think you've done a wonderful job and I appreciate so much your willingness to share tonight and I am for well, I, I'm gonna leave you up there I want y'all just briefly share your story Valar what you see in this and then if you don't mind I'd like to uh, uh, ask some questions that would lead over into Mark, uh, you sharing uh, how you approach and how you, uh, and we'll get into that. But I'd like for you guys just kind of share your story. Y'all look so happy there. And I want, I want everybody to know you. So, Joffany and Mark. Take it away. <laughs> yes, uh, take it away. <laughs> thank you, JK. First of all, I'd like to thank you for having us here. And you are so you are such a wonderful mentor and leader, and I just love you. Oh, and the fact that we have the same initials make us particularly close. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're almost the same age, although I'm older than you, believe it or not, so. Well, she uh, looks so good for your age and so much better than me, so go that's ahead. That's why I'm keeping her. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but um, I first wanted to start by uh, kind of introducing Mark, because I'm usually the person who's on the calls. And uh, Mark and I have been together for 40 years. And he started out his career as a police officer in San Jose, California. He had, major he had majored in criminal justice. <clears throat> and he stayed with the police department a couple of years and he decided he wanted to do something different. So he became a counselor in Job Corps. I don't know if everyone on the call knows what Job Corps, but it's a, a company that took or takes pre-delinquent youth and helps them get started on a good productive path. So he really loves doing that. And basically uh, he has his master's degree in counseling. He's done a lot of different things. He's been a consultant, he's been a trainer, uh, and he's really likes to see himself as an educator. 
So when Valar came along, he was very, um, very interested in the product and did a lot of research. And he decided that this was something he was enough interested in that he wanted to go forward with it. So I will let him take over now and and he'll he's he's the salesperson in our partnership. Uh, we are partners in Valar, and that makes things so much easier. I kind of take over the back room and the emails and the team building, and he's out and selling. And he's not sold before. I've never sold before. So this is brand new for both of us. We've been with Valar for 10 months now. This is our 10th month. And the only thing I'll say before I turn it over to him is that in our fourth and fifth months of Valara, and I think I, you know this, JK, we were completely out of debt for the first time in our lives. And that means no more credit card debt, no more loans, et cetera. So Valara has been uh, wonderful for us. So fabulous. <laughs> well, first of all, can we get rid of that, uh, that picture? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let me see here. I'll get a new share here. And I was going to share this one. And let me see if it is uh, one that would be okay. There you go. How Perfect. about that? Okay. So I'm just, I'm just trying to, since I haven't done this for almost six months, seven months with you before, JK. Right. Uh, when we're doing this, is is the screen going to be primarily uh, this document, or does it ever show us full screen? Uh, I can show you full screen. I can do whatever. Okay, this you is tell simply, me what to do. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to first of all start off by uh, giving the audience a caveat uh, because most of my career I was in an educating educator mode, almost a consult, management consultant for almost 15 years. I taught in community college for 10 years. I use the word you a lot, but understand listeners that <laughs> it really is I. What I've learned, what the wisdom I've gathered has come as a result of what I ran up against, um, transcended, and sometimes not so much. So when I present, be, be mindful that I will use the word you, and it's not designed for me to be lecturing to you, but it's just how I oftentimes uh, communicate my experience. With that said, um, that was Lisa, an interesting. Yeah, Lisa, if you would mute yourself, Lisa Bumpus. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. What you're looking at is a list that when I go out, I have about five, six or seven, depending on the evolution of the material of Valara. But this is the very first page I walk in and show people in our community. We have a community of about 60,000 in the winter, winter visitors. It drops down in the, in the heat of the summer to about 25,000. But no matter where I go, I always hand this to them and says, are you familiar with these locations and, and that we have our uh, technology? And I use the word technology more than I do almost anything else because it helps me uh, package what, we're, what I'm presenting. And they look at it and they recognize it and then they spend a little bit of time usually looking at it and sometimes they get a wow and sometimes they get, oh, and then if I go into a medical area, I will have out, uh, highlighted the fact that we're in one of the medical areas that everybody is familiar with. So that's how I use this particular document. So we can switch over to us full screen. Okay. Uh, somebody show me how. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Uh, I need to f go to full screen. Uh, it's a drum roll. Uh, yeah, screen sharing. Let me see. Let me stop sharing. Yeah. JK, once they talk, they'll just come up. Okay, right there you go. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mark, I think you should be. Yeah. My presentation tonight really will take two directions. One, 
how have I been able to interact with Valara and across the different uh, businesses in our community? My, my single sales has always been a spinoff as a result of the connections that I've made. I'll highlight briefly the, um, the ability that seems to have come up as I have interacted with people, and I'll explain that in just a second. The very first place that I contacted was our golf uh, club. And uh, I talked to them and I said, well, first of all, I said, I'm gonna tell you something that you're not going to believe. And that sounds a little over the top. And I spent about 10, 15 minutes. And with that, he, the person, his name is Dan Essie, who owns it and has quite a bit of money said, Oh, that's great. We'll take four. Wow. Is it that easy? I said to myself, uh, the next thing I did was uh, spent the next month trying to get to a, another person. I talked a lot to a lot of people and it, it like the universe was not going to open up any doors for the first three weeks, but I then got to an, a gatekeeper in a restaurant uh, organization that owns seven restaurants. They bought it in June and they bought the technology because they had employees that didn't want to come back to work. And as soon as I told uh, Tim Chagru, who owns the seven restaurants, he said, wow, I really want to do this because I want my people to come back. So he did it and they came back because then what I did is I did three presentations to his staff to explain the technology. And we had some real doubters in there at the end of the presentation. Um, I was able to have them uh, wowed enough to understand that Tim Chagru had just spent almost $18,000 uh, to make their space safe and 16, to, 16. well, it ended up at 16 because one of the persons didn't, uh, his wife didn't want him. So that's, that triggered the next uh, go round. And, and everybody's had this experience. What I'm really highlighting is fact is that there's a chain of events for purchasing. And the next thing that happened was that our, we have a thing, a, a group called the uh, London Bridge Resorts. And they're a very large group and they own, they have about 200 to 400 rooms. I'm not really sure. The manager of the place is uh, the mayor also, Cal Sheehy. He was in Chagruz and he saw it, he liked it. I, they asked me to do a presentation. I did a presentation. They immediately bought uh, 12 of the pros, 30 of the mobiles, because they have a lot of small offices. And that was it. Then they were having some difficulty with their own staff uh, coming up against COVID. And so they decided to buy uh, personals. They ended up buying 34 personals for all of their staff. And I also did a presentation to all the managers of the uh, organization. Point being that it was a gift that just kept on giving because they then, the owner, Tom Flatley, uh, called me about three weeks ago and said, I want you to do a presentation to the uh, animal. The Western uh, Arizona Humane Society. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, because I want to gift them with 20 personals. So I did that. Our Catholic Church, after about four months of, of uh, not being able to get to a very busy priest, um, we had a sit down and he ended up buying 16. But as a result of that, I had contacted um, the hospice and the manager of the hospice who's been there for about 17 years, loved the technology, but couldn't get past the board. They didn't say no, they didn't say yes. Most of us, on this call probably have experienced a lot of what I call deer in the headlights. Yeah. They love the technology. They don't say no. I've been doing this for nine months and I've gotten, I think four no's. I don't get no's. They just don't. And, and I think some of it has to do with, uh, I'm a newbie when it comes to closing. That's another whole world. And, and um, that's what I've been working on for quite a while, asking for the sale. But the point being is that they went, uh, the head of the board is a Catholic, saw that uh, Father Chauncey had put it in his, in the Catholic church, 16 of them. The school. 
and, and also five of those went into their school, the hospice ended up buying 21. My point is that it's a very, it required for me a lot of patience and a lot of understanding uh, or relearning of how humans out there take in information, what they do with it, when do they make a decision, how do they make a decision, what Joffin and I have done a lot of is emails. And the way we do emails is not, oh, by the way, what we do is we find new information and Ballara has been wonderful because it keeps giving us reasons for emailing. Way back in June, they just came and got the uh, class two medical device, huge. Um, the additional information of uh, three minutes. So that gave us entree to constantly, uh, gently reconnect with people. I'm in a community that allows me to actually go out and that's the way I like to work. I would much rather go out. I'm not a computer geek. Um, Joffany is superb at it, um, but that's how I've made my sales. The gatekeepers are always an issue and I've had to come up with a way to transcend gatekeepers and they're everywhere especially with businesses, the people who you walk in and they say, uh, I, let me have it and I'll give it to X, Y, and Z. They give it to the person, you never hear from them again. And I've learned to say, I'm going to give this to you. And I know you're going to give it to the person who's the decision maker. I want to call tomorrow and see if, uh, if there's a chance to get an appointment. All it takes is just 10 minutes and explain the material that I just handed you. So that is a way to move past the gatekeepers when they want to be moved past. When they don't, you're just stuck and you try to figure out how to get around them. The only way I know to get around them is word of mouth from other organizations within the city that have our technology. That's why that list that we showed you um, has a lot of locations. And uh, all those locations were not sold by us. There's about a dozen of them that were sold by our associates, which is a great gift that they gave themselves and us. Uh, so multiple contacts um, to attempt to close sales. Um, I got a, a good piece of awareness with Michael Jackson when he said, it takes sometimes in the average between five and 10 reconnects to actually close a sale. And I think of a lot of us think that if we go in one time or two times or three times, we check them off and said, all right, we used to be told in, in this kind of business, if you don't make a sale, just touch that button on your chest that says next. That's partly true, but in this kind of community, it doesn't hurt every time you get new information. When I got new information, Joffney and I would put together an email and send, email and send it up to the key people that we were trying to influence. Uh, they never disliked, they never had anything negative to say about the technology. They loved it. What's not to love? It sells itself. But the closing part is always the adventure. I just <clears throat> want to say one thing about emails. When Mark said we send out a lot of emails, they're follow-up emails. They're not cold emails, yeah. except on occasion. They're mostly after he's made a contact and I'll send a follow-up email, either asking for an appointment or it's some, some other piece of information that will move us forward, hopefully. It doesn't always move us forward. Sometimes emails just go in a black hole and they're not responded to. That's why we're so fortunate living in a community where we live about within five and 10 minutes of every business here. So for Mark to go out and follow up in person, that's easy. For other distributors who are making sales in other locations, they can't go there. So there has to be a way to follow up with either a phone call or an email or, or something that will enable them to keep the connection going. Okay. I think we are all aware that probably the most powerful marketing tool is word of mouth. Word of mouth is what sells almost everything. Uh, people telling somebody else, uh, you interacting and talking, and that's always been my, uh, my, not my fallback, but my primary uh, way of interacting. 
So as I was going through today and yesterday with Jofany as after uh, JK, you had um, asked us to come on, I was trying to think about value added. What could we actually offer you? Because almost everything I've talked about, most of you have already had the experience of, and I don't want to imply at all that we have the answer. We have an answer that, that keeps getting modified and adjusted and shifted. What we're currently chasing right now is part of that $1.9 trillion that is going to be voted on and is going to be distributed amongst schools and states and counties and cities. And we sent emails out with that reality back into the, the, the uh, awareness of people we've interacted with before in counties and cities and schools who said, we don't have the money right now. They are going to have the money. And if you can get your head uh, and your technology in the foreground of their uh, awareness of what they could do and should do, um, that I think is a big boost. Uh, I have two meetings both in Kingman, in Kingman which is uh, the, the uh, county seat for uh, Mojave County with two key players, one for the county and one for the city. And it really is just to highlight um, who we are, what we do, and the fact that if they like us, and there's no reason for them not to because we transcend everything they've ever tried, uh, they have what I call a pray and spray, a spray and pray uh, mechanism. They just spray everything out there and just hope it works and hope it works. And the CDC says it'll work, and, it, and then they say, and we're not sure it works. We work. And that's what they need to understand. And so I gently bring them up uh, personal to that reality. So that's what we're working on a lot now. Um, the other part of my world has been dealing with me, Mark. Something that doesn't get a lot of conversation amongst folks like us all the way across, no matter what your age is, is what do we do with this mind that we're dealing with on a daily basis? I highlight the fact in my own reality that there's four Ds that we all bump up against, if not every day, almost you know, every week in, to some degree. And it's called doubt, disappointment, discouragement, and disillusionment. Yeah. They're huge because we all want to be successful. I had to come to the realization that if my goal was selling, I was going to be in a lot of pain. To, to say my goal is to sell, to make a sale. I had to back off that because that can be very painful if you think that's your only goal. That's an end result of goals that are much more relevant to me, which is, understand when any of those four Ds, doubt, disappointment, discouragement, disillusionment, enter into my conscious mind. I have a, a teacher years ago that said, <clears throat> people who have depression, if you ask them to make a list of why they're depressed, they can come up with 20 or 30 things but then you have to ask yourself, having that list, does it resolve depression? The answer is does not, it never will. It just highlights why they're depressed. You have to have a go-to position. A go-to position for me is an imagery that takes me to a positive place. Uh, I learned years ago that in quantum physics, consciousness and energy creates the nature of reality. Yes. In other words, if I can think in a way that allows me to move forward every single day with the context that I need to make, which is where my goals are, my goal is to make context, is to present and to learn better how to close, um, but non-offensively. Then that energy is what moves forward into the, the conscious uh, quantum world. I don't want to use the word the universe, but there's, but everybody affects their quantum environment. That's right. 
And if we have the willingness to focus on imagery that moves you and your uh, desires forward, then it, it really highlights um, in, the, in the world that you're working in, in a positive vein. Years ago, we would take a five by seven card and create pictures that symbolize what we wanted. By doing that, that's where I go. I'll show you what I use as a card. Oh yeah. And all of those, that writing is not what I focus on. It's just part of the, uh, of the imagery. What it does is it, it says big sales. It said La Paz County, Thurston County, um, Lake Havasu City. It says Arizona schools, Mojave County, Indian tribes. And of course the big one is Diamond Resort. Resorts, which we're moving up the chain with them. Uh, and we'll see how that all unfolds. And I do this because it's very easy for me to be aware and, and something that most people have, but they don't understand or utilize. It's called the observer. The observer, I view it as something sitting right here with no voice. And it's just that aspect of my brain that knows when I'm off kilter. And it's with me all the time. And it tells me without saying anything without having a second voice back in my head is that that's where I'm at. It doesn't tell me what to do. It doesn't highlight anything. It just lets me know that I have an option in that moment to change that reality. And I may have spent the last week bumping up against all kinds of situations that did not result in a sale. And I have to keep reminding myself, okay, you're really out here to make contacts. You're really out here to uh, tell uh, about a technology that is so outrageous uh, that it just makes people sit there or stand there and look at you and, and say, wow, I did not know that even existed because it, it's, it's, it's a hidden gem and it's no longer being hidden. It's around all the time, but I have to, when I'm sitting in the morning having my coffee, I need to scan what I need to do that day. But I go back to that card every time I sit down and attempt to just kind of kick back and relax. That's what I focus on. And I don't focus on it with any extra energy. I just see the picture. And, and I do it in a way that doesn't allow uh, any negativity any of the four D's to enter into my reality because they're alive and well, and they always will be because as humans, we often doubt our ability to do X, Y, and Z, to think X, Y, and Z. We also end up getting discouraged as part of being on planet earth. We get discouraged. What do you do with that discouragement? You either hang out with it, feel sorry for yourself, myself, you become the victim of, of your efforts, or you say, okay, that's alive and well, what do I wanna do about it? Okay, what I have to do is I have to get out of the house and make contacts. It's the action that makes the difference for me because the action erases or puts it into the background, all of those emotional issues that most people drag around. Sometimes we don't even realize that we're salesmen. When I was a kid, I used to convince my, my mother I didn't need to take the garbage out when they told me I needed to take it out. What was I doing? I was selling her on my point of view. And we've been doing this throughout most of our lives. So to say that we're not salespeople, if you've been talking and convincing and cudgeling and, and moving people's points of view around, you've been selling. This is the easiest technology in the world to sell. Only way I can do it is I need to get out of the chair. I need to look at the list that I have and either email or go out and find, either, and find new contacts or make appointments. And that's how I deal with all that negativity that floats around me. And, and I'm assuming that we all wrestle with 
the biggie, which probably more than anything else is discouragement. You just feel discouraged. You've, you've tried and tried and it's just, it's not clicking. And you get a period of time and, and then it clicks. And you're not quite sure how it clicked, but you're pleased. But we can only ride the, the, the joy of that for a very small period of time. And now we're back into saying, okay, what's the next forward step? So that I wanted to be able to at least share with you what I go through probably every day, uh, only because I'm part of this planet that has a lot of ways to figure out how to um, kick me in the tush and make me decide how do I want to feel about what I'm looking at, what I want to experience, and how do I want to experience me. And I don't want to experience myself in any of the venues that I just described since I know how not to. And I make a card or I do an email or we go, I go out and I talk with people. So that's a big part of what makes me function on a daily basis. Um, and I have to remember, and, and I think all of us run up against this, what am I doing for, with my own physicality? I have to walk. I have to need to burn off any of the nervous energy or the, uh, the, the elements in our society that are going to impact me negatively. I need to do it by making sure my body works. Valar has wonderful tools in, in their pharmaceuticals, they're not pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals. but nutraceuticals. Uh, so it, it's important for me and Joffany to at least walk three, four times a day and to go to a the week. gym a week. A week. <laughs> I like the other one. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I just wanted to indicate that that's, we can get trapped in the busy, bu the busyness of a business, of a business it doesn't do you any well down the any any good down the road if you forget about the person that you're living with in the mirror, which is you, me, and that uh, we don't discount that because it's a daily and a weekly activity that we have to do. Otherwise, um, it uh, our world doesn't work well. I just want to uh, say one thing. I'm going to have Mark talk about the machines. The cleaning before he forgets. Yeah, I have found that I keep going back to a lot of the big sales um, about cleaning. Cleaning is a big issue. We don't want to think about it because once we make a sale, that should be it. My goodness gracious, they should treat it like they're, you know, their first or second born, but they don't. They're, they like it, they look at it, they stare at it for a couple of weeks, then it becomes invisible. So what we do regularly is we contact people. And the reason we do this is because it's more sales. I went to the golf who, uh, place uh, club and they, their machines were getting pretty dirty. And the, the uh, general manager has got his hands full. This is high season down here. So I said, I'll clean them for you. So I took them home one at a time and I had learned a couple a month or two ago, how to take the two screws off the back that allows the lid to get lifted up and how to take the, the uh, I call it a propeller. It's not, it's, it's, fan it's a fan blade <laughs> and, and take it out and clean it. So I did a super cleaning and they were really happy. In fact, the owner's wife asked me if I would do that for hers. She's now going to buy a second one because she realizes that her square footage is not adequate for the one that she had. I hound another several different companies because uh, that's I really I have a vested interest in their success, not just the sale. And I do it really with no thanks. I really don't care about being thanks. All I want to do is make sure that if they're if the word of mouth of their technology is going to work, they need to see that I'm there and that I'm supporting them and that I have no vested interest in getting anything from it except to know that that technology is really keeping people healthy. And so I'll just, just add something to this here. Mark has gone into various restaurants that we've sold machines to, and either the machine isn't on, or the only the fan is on and the active pure isn't on, or, or it's butted up against the wall so it's not getting the proper distribution. So Mark will gently chide them 
say, hey, this is an expensive machine. And this is here for you. And this is here for you. And this is, you this, is to work this was, they spent a lot of money to create this technology for you. And this is what we do in, in some of our locations. This unit periodically got turned off. And so we ended up putting this picture on uh, this unit with the explanation of what it was. And we always point out to the staff, not just the lead staff, of the little tiny A pure two. Most people miss that. I wish it was bigger because people, as you have run up against, when they see the blue circle, it's on. <laughs> That's all they think. The blue circle means it's on. No, it doesn't. And so I showed them how every day come in and look at this thing. This is your lifeline to avoid COVID. And then I go on to say, and it, pures, and it makes the air pristine, pure, as long as you're in here. So you're not even breathing um, any contaminants. And I explained to them what that is. They are so surprised uh, when you tell them that, when I've told them that, that they immediately uh hold back and and they really are sit they really listen but the only way i knew to do that was i have to go in and i have to look at their machines what it does is i've actually been telling somebody who's sitting at the other one not this one about the technology and you get people really interested in wow i didn't know that i thought it was just sucking everything out of the air and sending it <laughs> into me and uh, it's a real confusing technology because it makes no sense based on our past filtration consciousness. And to get people unhooked, as you have had to do over and over and over again, probably a, a hundred times, if not more, that this is not a filter. This is not a chemical spray system. And then you tell them what it is and they're absolutely amazed. And I always put my finger up and point to the sky. And I said, this technology has, when, has been in the International Space Station for almost 25 years. It's their technology. And it's what's keeping them alive. They're not getting sick up there. And why should you get sick down here? It, yeah. Yeah, I said, of course, we don't really know if they're not getting sick. But, but, we, <laughs> but we know they're using our technology. That's right. and, and all they do is kind of look at you and go, really? Wow. <laughs> I always get, wow, I didn't know that. Well, I'm not telling anybody out there what you don't already know and probably what most of you do and probably have your own methodology for keeping your um, face, your number, your name in people's uh, awareness. So that's kind of the short and long of what we do and what we've done and, and uh, what we wrestle with and where our successes, if nothing more than just in my own mind, come from. I would just like to add one thing because I know there's probably gonna be questions. We have someone on the call tonight. This is Donna Wicker, who had, I invited her on because she has a wonderful story about what, uh, how COVID impacted her family. So Donna, uh, could you put yourself unmuted and you can you put thank you and just put yourself on video in the lower left hand corner you're almost on video okay be, you're almost there <laughs> if you can't can you start the video where it says in the lower left hand corner, it's either stop or, or start? If nothing more hurts. If you can't, you can just tell your story. Because it's a very powerful story. It's a very powerful story. You with us, Donna? Yeah, I have it on stop. Uh, if you un, if you, you know, kind of click it again, okay. it should be on start. Yeah. It looks like she has her camera on. Oh, All right. Showing up, but yeah. it's not connecting to Zoom. Oh. It's okay. It's tell okay, us your Donna. Story. You can tell us your story. You still with us? No, she's muted. Oh, you, you've just muted yourself. Unmute. And you have to unmute. 
Okay, you're ready. You're ready to talk. Okay, can you hear me? We can yes. hear you great. Yes. How about now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. I was in the audience with um, when Mark came to Our Lady of the Lake and presented the product to Father Chauncey. And I was suffering from uh, very bad asthma. And uh, um, Donna, I think your internet that la um, you're in a connect, you get internet connected. Donna, your internet connection needed it for my asthma. Okay. And the whole thing about you can't hear. It's, it's, it's your up. internet. Your internet is breaking up. It's not a, a, a stable connection. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how to fix that. Well, uh, you're you're sounding good now. Let's see. Yeah, just go forward. Uh, if you're okay now. So what yes. do I do? Yeah, you're I doing. Know, just do. keep talking. You're fine. Yeah, we can hear you now. <laughs> go ahead, Donna. This is J.K. Okay. Tell us okay. about Thanksgiving, okay. Donna. Tell us about Thanksgiving. Oh. So I I I go with, and I saw the result. Giving day, my son and his wife and daughter came, and from a different household, my sister came, and from a different household, my grandson and his wife came. My he didn't feel good at that time. Her son didn't feel uh, good. He came from California and didn't feel you, good. We were all together for two to three days. They all left. My son went back home. Right. So he went back home. Boss had COVID. And he was exposed to it. And the next day, he came down. He had it. His wife had it, and his daughter had it. That were here at my house with the machine. None of us got it. And that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And I was, I was just ecstatic. Because they were the spreaders, potentially, because they that's came right. into the house from California with COVID already. It just hadn't showed up. In its except in its milder form, and it was all over the house as a result of both all three of them having it. Wow! And when her and, son and went, my son had it, my my I almost lost my son. I, I almost lost my son because of it. And what I mean, Donna is saying is that her, it was that bad. Yeah, she almost lost her son. Her son was is fifty years old, and when uh -huh. he went back to California, he was, did not get right. Yeah, and that's and that's the the bottom of the bottom line is it they showed up, but because of as the technology we're always aware of, it just didn't. It got killed as soon as they walked through the door, and I loved it when Joe. Um, or so told that to the reporter said you know I walk into a room with this technology on and within a matter of seconds everything around me that I brought in or that could have uh, COVID viruses is all dead and that's what she experienced for three full days with nobody else getting sick it's pretty amazing thank you Donna wow. thank you very much 
Yeah, we'll have yeah, we'll have Donna uh, Thank on. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, uh, Joffney Mark, I'd like to have her back on when maybe there's a clear connection or if we could get a recording. That is, that's the testimony. That's what yeah. we're, how we're helping people. And I have to say this, somebody popped up on the screen and it said, bravo. Yeah. I mean, you're tonight, when Becky and I lived up in New York, we'd go to plays and go to Lincoln Center and all that. And when somebody, I mean, when it was really, really good, people just jump up, bravo, bravo, bravo. So <laughs> three bravos tonight, I'm telling you. It's great, great, great. Uh, Mark, do you have anything else you want to share that you can think of or Joffany? Yeah, it, not that I can think of. I, I'm probably older than everybody else on this screen. Uh, <laughs> He's 81. Point being that there isn't an age that makes a difference if, in fact, your heart and mind is, is tied in with the phenomenal aspect of this technology. Give us the three D, I mean, the four Ds one more time that we fight every day. Well, we fight doubt because doubt is so built into the reality that we keep looking at and we doubt aspects of it that here's a big doubt and that is that I doubt that I am worthy. That's huge. We wrestle with worthiness. We wrestle with the fear and we don't really put it this way with what we call invisibility. Am I making a difference? Does anybody even recognize I'm in the room I, that, I, that I have a reality? So we have doubt, it's always swimming around, and yet it's not going away. All you have to do is say, what do I do with it? Well, you ignore it, and you move on to a picture that is much more positive. Disappointment. Everybody's familiar with disappointment. You can't be in this business and not drop down into the pit of disappointment. It's just how far down you want to go and how long do you want to stay there. And eventually you say, well, this is not getting me anywhere. I'm just getting tired of being disappointed. And then I have a card that gets me out of it. I have activities that get me out of it. Delusionment, you know, it's part of the same package uh, and, and uh, discouragement. Joffany was saying just for a moment, yes, a couple of days ago when she was watching with uh, Michael Jackson and everybody who was selling all of these things. And we've been in contact with the school for almost 10 months. And of course, they wanted to go a different direction. It's called on the cheap. It's fine. If we do everything the CDC does, says, we got all of our screens, we've got all X, Y, and Z, we don't have to spend the money. And, and they understand that the schools are gifted if they have high attendance. They get money from the state. They can pay for their units in a matter of three or four years by being able to ask the state for the money that represents the 80% increase in attendance. It's hard for them to understand that until you tell them flat up. But here's the biggest kicker I ever thought of and I presented to the school system and she really took notes. This is, let me just say that this is the Lake Havasu Unified School District. And he just spoke with the, the superintendent whom he knew. And the reason I went there is I wanted to get to our state superintendent and I wanted her to, to guide me uh, to that person because they got money coming. But what I said to her, and it had only dawned on me because I spent a fair amount of time just focusing on where my presentation should go when I go to see her. And I did that last Wednesday. When these kids walk into this classroom, if there's no contaminants and forget about the pathogens, if there's nothing in the air but pristine, clean air, you're gonna get students for the first time in their life, bright eyed and ready to learn and the teacher will also have that reality. They cannot calculate how valuable that is because they've never seen it before in all of their teaching experience. Parents haven't seen that of their own kids either. Schools are one of the most contaminated places around because there's so many different personalities and kids and bodies and stuff that everybody's dragging in there as well as the volatile organic compounds that are always being spewed out. And I tell them, I says, if you can get rid of all of that stuff and, you, and your kids come to school in the morning, 
They go on recess and they come back into an environment that is so pristine that there's nothing in the air. Your immune, their immune systems and their brains are going to uh, provide a perfect learning environment. So that's, she really liked that. And uh, that's what I was trying to emphasize. Dealing with COVID is, is short term. It does not work if you're just dealing with COVID. Uh, people will buy it for the short term. I can't sell on the short term. I always highlight, why are you doing this for you? And it's for the long term and they get it. So that's what I wanted to add. That is a great, great, great comment in that you are so right. The sale is the sale and COVID is short term. But what the unit does with COVID and after COVID's gone, it, it, when, you, when you mentioned about the energy and, and uh, for the students and the teachers, that is so absolutely true. It changes everything in that school room. It changes yes. everything in people's offices. It changes everything that places that. It's it's phenomenal, guys. Y'all did a great job. I mean, I appreciate you so much. I really, 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 really do. Uh, I, one of these days, one of these days, <laughs> we'll get out there. And uh, just don't do it in the summer. It's too hot. Too hot. <laughs> well, I'm from Alabama, so it. <laughs> It's just uh, <laughs> well, it's 115 here in the summer, so that's uh, over the top. That's hot. Yes, that's yeah. on the border of hail, I think, isn't yeah, it? it uh, is, when it, it gets is. that hot. <laughs> hey, guys, appreciate it. Thank you so much. We've got a bunch of questions, so here's what I'm going to do. It's late. I'm going to ask if you're really serious about a question that you email that question to me. Okay, it's jkbaker46 at aol.com. You don't have to preach a sermon to me. You don't have to just give me the question. And that's all, jkbaker46 at aol.com. And AOL tells you how old I am. That right there <laughs> tells you how old I am. I'm thinking of keeping it because I'll be the last one in the world with one and it may be worth something, see. <laughs> so I'm going to hang on to it. So uh, I'll get those questions and, uh, and then uh, Jophany, we'll, we'll be emailing each other and we'll go from there. Again, thank you guys. Handsome yeah. couple, beautiful people. Uh, Jophany and Mark, we thank you so much. And everybody, we'll see you next Sunday night. Thank you so much. You can unmute you, yourself, you. everybody, and say hello. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, for, Mark. Thank you, so thank you for your patience. Hey. Thanks, thanks, Mark. Really thank good. you, Mark. Outstanding, you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wonderful, Mark. Thank Great you. information. Thank you. Tremendous job. Awesome. Tremendous job. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God thank bless you all. Guys. You. Thank you guys so much. Make a, make a, make a focus card. Make a focus yes, card. Yes, yes. yes. We're going to make the card. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good, night. Good to see you both again. Thank you so much for this. Take yeah. care, everyone. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Let's go. Thank you, Emiliano, for helping me out. Good night. Peace.